after understanding about the isoquants of CES production function, now we will also learn that how we can extract the information regarding the returns to scale. Because in our production process, it is very much important to know that if the production function is going to give us increasing returns to scale, decreasing returns to scale, or constant returns to scale. Before we begin, I suggest that you subscribe so that you get such useful and easy to understand material on such topics that are less available. So now coming to the point of returns to scale, we know about the material that is proportional change in the output divided by proportional change in inputs. This is how we can assess the returns to scale. If the value is greater than 1, equal to 1, less than 1, we get IRS, CRS and DRS. So this was the reminder of the returns to scale situation. Here we have the CES production function in its full-fledged form. Uh, so now we are going to do that process in which we check the homogeneity as well as we can um, find out about the returns to scale. So about the homogeneity, we can do this thing that is we can introduce a scalar uh, in the production function wherever there is. Um, labor and capital. So we introduce uh, lambda as a scalar and we can now uh, write it here wherever we have lambda, uh, labor and capital as you can see I have underlined lambda because it is introduced on both sides here as well and here we have to keep this thing in mind that capital has a certain power so lambda will also be having that power sharing it here la labor had a power of minus rho, so lambda is also, since it has become a part of it, so it is going to share the same power. So we have used the uh, parentheses here. Now it is simple algebra that you can do from here on. Uh, we have gotten rid of uh, the underscores or the underlines, and we have separated these lambdas with their powers of uh, minus rho, as you can see. I have underlined it. They are separated with their power of minus rho. I have separated them from capital and labor. And when we do, when uh, we see that both of them are the same terms generated before and after this positive sign. So we can write it as a common factor. We have taken it out as a common factor, whereas the remaining term is in the curly brackets and it remains as it is. Now uh, we can uh, distribute this power to both of these terms, this power to both of these terms, that is this term with lambda and the remaining term with capital and labor. So here it is with the uh, term with lambda, now the power is distributed and here it is distributed to the term of capital and labor. Now in this situation, it is easy to cancel out la the rows here, this one and that one. Minus will also be cancelled out, so we get this term after the cancellation. Whereas this will remain as it is. And we have also brought this uh, gamma beside it. And this is for a reason, because we know that this is actually the production function that we started our discussion with this production function. This is the original production function and the scalar that we introduced has been factored out completely and it has a power which is of significance for us. Primarily we can say that it is a homogeneous production function. So now it is more precise that it is a homogeneous production function because lambda, the scalar that we introduced is completely factored out and it is homogeneous in terms of k and l because this is where we introduce the uh, lambdas. Secondly, uh, the power of lambda is v and that basically determines the degree of homogeneity and it can be either equal to 1, it can be greater than 1 and less than 1. It also further has an economic implication that if it is equal to 1 it means that we have a constant returns to scale and if it is greater than 1, then we have uh, increasing returns to scale. And if it is less than 1, then we have a decreasing returns to scale. So CES production function can incorporate either of these possibilities 
of returns to scale we just want uh, we just need to uh, focus on this value whenever the production function is given we can focus on, the on this value for example if it is 2 in the given form in the numerical form then we can say that the value v is greater than 1 it means that we have an increasing returns to scale if it is equal to 1 then we have a constant returns to scale and if it is less than 1 for example 0.5 then we can say that we have a case of decreasing returns to scale. So this is the utility and the economic significance of uh, V in the CES production function. Thank you.